everyone this is anubhuti from sensity.com welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to review the ordinary scorbyl glucoside solution 12% uh, this is a vitamin c serum which is um, which contains highly stable water soluble uh, vitamin c derivative uh, which is a scorbyl glucoside vitamin c uh, c's most uh, potent form ascorbic acid and l ascorbic acid are known to have really really great effects uh, on anti aging um, uh, and then uh, evening out the skin tone they are very potent formula but they are very unstable uh, when they come into contact with water or light uh, so that is why they are very difficult to formulate and because they are very high potent formula they have many usage restrictions like you cannot use your retinols or um, actives uh, other actives like uh, your direct acids AHAs BHAs uh, PHAs and then also niacinamide uh, the ordinary niacinamide has a warning that you cannot use it with ascorbic acid or l ascorbic acid uh, so uh, because of those reasons um, because they are high protein formula i think they are not beginner friendly especially if you have sensitive skin so that is why i decided to go ahead with uh, the ordinary scorbyl glucoside solution because this does not have any conflicts mentioned on the ordinary side and this is not as potent uh, as l ascorbic acid and ascorbic acid but this is very stable water based serum so let's uh, move to individual sections like packaging uh, texture smell and then how it performed for me so coming to the packaging it comes in a uv uh, protective packaging it is mentioned on the uh, packaging it comes in outer carton white or outer carton like other ordinary products which i threw out that has all the information uh, listed uh, like ingredient list uh, uh, directions to use any conflicts that is mentioned on the outer packaging this is the bottle inside uh, it is dark in color and then it has a dropper inside there is uh, directions to apply are mentioned on the bottle as well and then then there is a dropper like this the serum itself is uh, transparent the consistency is also medium and it gets absorbed into skin very quickly without leaving any stickiness behind which i really really like about it this does not leave any shine any stickiness behind so this is what i really like the ordinary products are fragrance free so there is no potential fragrance in the serum i cannot smell anything now coming to the performance so vitamin c uh, is supposed to have anti aging properties and brightening effects according to the cm uh, which is parent company for the ordinary um, they mentioned that uh, ascorbyl glucoside is considered as a gold standard for vitamin c derivatives because of its high uh, stability and comfortable use because it does not react with other uh, uh, actives um, but it is not possible to achieve high potency of uh, uh, vitamin c as compared to l ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid so that is something you have to keep in mind um so um i i have super sensitive skin so that is why i did not want to go to directly a potent version plus i am a beginner to skin care uh, so i tried uh, to use as many products uh, which does not have much conflicts with other products I'm using in my routine. So I started to use a scorbid glucoside solution, 12% in my skincare routine. I did two patch tests, one behind the ear and one uh, on the inside of the arm uh, and left it on for 12, for 24 hours like uh, the ordinary suggests. And when everything was fine, I did not have any reaction brushes, then I started using this. Mm, slowly so first i started using this uh, every alternate day uh, in the morning uh, and then one week went fine then i started uh, using it uh, i increased the frequency and i started using it uh, every day in the morning again one week one week went fine i did not notice any um, rashes any reactions or any irritation on my skin uh, then i started using it every day uh, twice so then also one week went fine okay uh, and no reactions so then i kept continuing uh, like that for me 
this serum did not cause any purging this serum does not cause any kind of irritations uh, irritation or it did not react with any other uh, products i was using in my skincare routine um i had uh, melasma in my pregnancy i still have a little bit it is fading uh, so that is why it was very severe it was very dark uh, in my pregnancy so that is why i started using this uh, serum it, uh, to fade it uh, help fade it and then i noticed that it did actually work uh, on that uh, on those spots um, but very slowly so i'm finished with the bottle and i do see results but not as fast as i would have liked to uh, this definitely works but super super slowly so if you're someone who who is already familiar uh, with vitamin c who who are already using vitamin c in their routine this might not be for you you might not even notice the difference at all uh, but if you are beginner uh, like me uh, and if you are someone with super sensitive skin and you want to introduce uh, vitamin c into your skin care routine this is a really really good option uh, now to sum up my thoughts um, i would say the ordinary has a wide range of vitamin c serums uh, which something might be suitable for you uh, more than the other so cassandra banks and actually made a video very detailed video on the ordinary vitamin c serum guide uh, and which one is more suitable for your choice i will link that video in the description box below in case you want to check it out that is very uh, well explained to the point uh, vitamin c guide and then i decided to buy this one because i thought this fit uh, perfectly for my criteria um the uh, ordinary scorbid glucoside solution 12% uh, is a full proof uh, serum if you are a beginner to skin care if you are beginner to vitamin c and you do not want something that uh, can react with uh, the other products in your skin care routine so if you are using retinols every uh, if you are using retinol or at active acids and you do not uh, want Uh, your vitamin C to be uh, reacting to those. Uh, this is a perfect fit for that. Uh, now coming to the effects on my skin, I had a lot of break uh, breakouts in my pregnancy, and I had those spots all over my face. This did help fading them. This worked uh, on evening out my skin tone uh, and pigmentation. Uh, also, I felt my skin was plump uh, when I was using this. Um, this works but super slowly so do not expect this to work as fast as uh, l ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid um and then uh, i would i would recommend you to go for this one uh, this definitely works and this works on uh, your skin to get accustomed to vitamin c so that is a plus point if you are already using vitamin c in your skin care routine and if you are used to using uh, ascorbic acid and l ascorbic acid in your skin care routine uh, then you might not notice the difference it makes to your skin because this is not as as potent as those derivatives so that is all from my side i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you if you would like to see more skin care reviews uh, for sensitive skin please leave it in down in the comment section below i would um, love to review a uh, few more products for you and uh, for more product reviews head on to my blogsensity.com till next time bye bye